The Grammys air on CBS 2 this Sunday, and we are counting down the days. Here to talk about some of the top contenders mm -hmm. is DJ Jose Galvan of KCRW, your NPR station 89.9 on the FM dial. Oh, Suzanne, they need to pay you to do the voiceover <laughs> right? work. Yeah, good to I have you in the house, man. Thank you. Yeah. Looking good, Excited everything. You do that better than I do, by the way. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, whoa, let's put you on a payroll. I'll do the promos over there because I listen all the time. Okay, nice. so let's start with Phineas. He won huge at the Oscars this Sunday with his sister, Billy. Eilish, which a lot of people don't know, they're mm -hmm. related. Um, and he's up for many Grammys this weekend. He is nominated for the top four categories and uh, album, song of the year, record of the year, and brand new artist, which you wouldn't think he's a brand new artist because he's got eight Grammys under his belt already. Mm -hmm. wow. That's for songwriting and producing, which there's a little loophole there so he can still be an artist and be a brand new artist, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, he's, a, he's a top contender, Academy Award winner now. And um, we'll see if he, get, if he takes it home. That's incredible. Right, let's talk about one of my favorites, John Batiste. I, I, I love New Orleans. I love all things John Batiste. He's a graduate of St. Aug there. I've done some work with that school. He leads the way with 11 nominations. And the last time something like this happened was with Kendrick Lamar, what, six years ago? Yeah, you're correct. And that year, I think Kendrick was nominated for 10, and he took three home. Wow. So He's at least getting one, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> at least got to get one out of 11 <laughs> nominations, you know? But uh, so he could be the big winner all night, and it could be, like, you know, kind of in the mids. Um, who else is nominated a bunch of times? Doja Cat. Yeah, is, let's is talk there. about her. She's got eight nominations. Planet Her, phenomenal. I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. um, her song, what was it called? Kiss Me More. Kiss Me More. Thank yes, you so much. Love that song. Yeah, such a great song. That's nominated as well. She's also nominated for her collaboration with Little Nas X on his album because collaborations are also oh, eligible yeah, for that. Nice. Oh, there's a little Kiss Me More right now. We're actually going to talk to the producer of that song and that album tomorrow. So I love that we're, we're connecting everything. Mm -hmm. Now let's move on to our next question. You're going to talk a little country. Uh, Chris Stapleton. Do you like some country? I yeah. love country ah, music. He does. He's does a little really? undercover country really fan. <laughs> so am I, like, believe it or not. Uh, I think it's going so pop right now, but Chris Stapleton nominated for Best, uh, rec best Country Album of the Year mm -hmm. and Best Song with Cold. So his album, Starting Over, came out in 2020. And kind of the way, that's him right there. Oh. Yeah, and, uh, the he way, sounds great. Oh, I love his voice. It's just so powerful and like emotional. Oh, of course. I always say country singers are the best storytellers. Yes. They're the best storytellers. Mm -hmm. It's the best songwriting in music, mm -hmm. to be honest. Yeah. Um, so I think he's going to win big. Uh, Brothers Osborne, good contenders. Casey Musgraves, there's a little bit of controversy there because her album actually landed in the pop category instead oh, of the uh, country yeah. well, category. Yeah, I mean, it does sound a little bit like but she's pop. also nominated for Best Country Song, so it's it's a little, I mean, uh, it's the Grammys. <laughs> those are some diehard fans. Ah, it's country. It can't exactly. be pop. It's got to be country, <laughs> right. you know? Okay, now, a name I didn't know is Arlo Parks, but you say big name and just rising through music right now. Had a phenomenal breakout year with her album Collapse in Sunbeams, and uh, she's nominated for brand new artist and she has been around for about two three years so some of those brand new artists have been around longer have had a couple albums but uh she had a sold out tour to the u.s through the uk and uh, just a phenomenal singer songwriter and musician okay one last group yeah one sonic the uh, super group of bruno mars and anderson pack i love that song <laughs> get me paying the rent da -da -da -da. <laughs> so sonic, can't baby. say the word on tv but that is my <laughs> jam right there you know what i think bruno mars on his own would be a, a shoe and winner right? he, yeah. would, he would clean up but this project so sonic uh a little different i don't think it, it hit as big as it should um, but Anderson Pack, I mean, what a phenomenal. I know, and a local, yeah. phenomenal we always love that. Exactly. You know, so it also brought, I think, like the old school R&B because it, it gives you that Marvin Gaye, like, yes. you know, feel Al Green-like style course, to it. Of course. So I like that. I like the Marias. They're nominated for um, Best Album Recording. Oh, they're local Latinas, they're local right? local as yeah, well. Baby. Yeah, yeah. And so um, I'm excited about them. I think big winners of the night, Olivia Rodrigo, of course. She has, oh, yeah. Yeah, she got her driver's license, and That's we all had to hear about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty awesome. She's going to do well, and, um, you know, Brothers Osborne, Little Nas X, the performances are going to be great as always. That's kind of the Grammys thing is, like, those collaborations that they do. So I'm excited to see Well, what thank comes you so it. much. DJ Jose Gavon, tell us when you're on again. Uh, Monday nights, 10 p.m. on KCRW 89.9. Oh, we got to support you. We got to yes. support you, Manny. Thank you're always you. welcome to come back. We love oh, having you here. I'm a little jealous of you this morning because you get to sit next to Suzanne. For some reason, I, I can't uh, sit next to her. Just, I yeah. don't know. They think We're working I'm... on that. <laughs> but I'm jealous of you, man. <laughs> no. But you know what? I will say the reason we met and I was like, I have to sign him up to come on our set is because you were an incredible DJ. And thank I you. heard him doing funk from the 70s. And I was like, and like current bands too. I was shazamming everything. So I'm like, he has to come on the show. And so we'll share here. your playlist. Playlist online too. Yeah, thank on you. On CBSLA.com. Right, thank so we'll you, man. Best of luck to you too, and thanks thank for coming on. Cheers.